Well, folks, today we're going to be going over every rumored and leaked game for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo in general for 2023 and 2024. Now, this is going to be quite an interesting list because it's not that we haven't talked about a lot of these things on an individual level. We just never combine them all together into a single video plus we have some new stuff added to the list including the game i haven't even talked about now we're not gonna talk about some of the leakers out there that we know to be well not legit i, I don't really want to get too much into uh who those people are but we're gonna focus more on people that have a track record of getting some stuff correct and have others maybe backing them video game journalists all that sort of stuff now before we dive into this list we will go over all the stuff we already know is confirmed for 2023 slash 2024 but before i do that i want to remind you that hey if you're enjoying this video i would appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe also our channel is sponsored by un racing so hey you can get 20 percent off you can split the payment or four payments if you want get your nice little office chair click the link down in the description for more information now the games we already know about uh we have fire emblem engage right it just came out but it is part of 2023 2024 so i want to bring that one up next up is kirby's dreamland deluxe a remake of an old kirby game coming out on february 24th that one looks to be pretty exciting we have a brand new bayonetta game in bayonetta origins Seraza and the lost demon you can actually play a demo for this game in bayonetta 3 if you discover it nintendo actually put out a little guide on how to access it but it's just a demo so they sort of tease this game people just didn't realize it was a whole new game anyways it's coming out on march 17th next up we have the game i'm most excited for no matter what happens with the rumors this year in tears of the kingdom it's coming out on may 12th let's just say we're gonna have a big streaming event around that game and then we have pikmin 4 which is coming sometime in 2023 no specific date but it is announced for 2023 now these are all the official games we know about and we'll know much more after the next direct but what could be in that direct what could be coming this year or next year what is happening well let's go over all of the rumors so first up we have a 2d mario coming in 2023 with a new art style i think this is to just denote this is not going to be part of the new super mario brothers series this is going to be a brand new 2d mario game uh this rumor comes from zippo and he says that it will come out close to the mario movie but I, you know close is relative with nintendo could be three to six months so i'm thinking more probably in this summer if this is true i don't think it's going to come out around the movie itself or around zelda i think they'll, they'll they'll push it out to july if they're if anything but still a new 2d mario coming from zippo uh next up metroid prime 4 right we've heard some mumblings about this game nothing too specific but it does seem likely that we will see this game if not this year next year but at least see it i don't know if it's going to release but i think the idea of just seeing this game is worth bringing up because man do we need to see metro prime 4 even if it's going to be years away but yeah in 2023 slash 2024 i think reasonable expectations out there is that we'll is that we will see metroid prime 4 but what is rumored about metroid prime is that metroid prime remake we all know jeff grubb last year put his hair on the line had to cut it off saying it would come out last year it didn't he still says it's real that it's legit emily rogers is actually the original source for this she never actually gave a date on when it would come out but obviously if jeff grubb was so sure it would be last year seems pretty sure it will be this year chances are if this game exists nintendo was holding off until they're ready to show metroid prime 4 which is why i think we'll see metroid prime 4 this year now next up we have a couple more games coming from zippo and these were rumored back in july of last year although without any specified date a uh, new star fox and kid icarus will get new installments now for kid icarus we actually have possibly an idea of what we're talking about here because masahiro sakurai on his youtube channel well, that's right if you don't know he's got a really amazing youtube channel he hinted uh, or at least suggested that he really wants Kid Icarus Uprising to get a remake slash remaster for Switch. Now, he either was suggesting it's already happening or he was putting pressure on Nintendo in a somewhat joking fashion to make it happen. Either way, that seems to be probably the way Kid Icarus would come back. 
And would that be considered a new entry? I don't know, but it definitely would be nice to see that come back. And then for Star Fox, he does say that it's going to be going between the lines of a sequel and reboot. So this sort of seems like it's going to be one of those uh, pseudo reboots of the of the IP that's never going to explicitly call itself a reboot but it kind of is i think this is probably the right direction for star fox because we're going to continue to get star fox games moving forward then we need to really be thinking about setting up star fox for future installments so i think a pseudo reboot that never calls itself a reboot might be the way to go you kind of please all crowds on that front uh next up is a new donkey kong game my lord has this been rumored forever we got nate the hate behind this we got emily rogers behind this we got zippo we got several journalists like we have a bunch of official websites like Eurogamer and GameSpot. i think even ign so many have been behind this donkey kong game really dating back to 2020 the interesting part about this is that none of them really knew when the game was coming they just know it's being made supposedly by members of the mario odyssey team so you're getting into that epd8 group it's going to be interesting to see if and when this game comes out but if it was back then we see donkey kong heavily featured in the mario movie it makes a lot of sense we also have donkey kong expansions happening at the universal theme parks so a new donkey kong game seems to almost assuredly be coming we haven't had one since 2014's tropical freeze so it's probably about time they weren't sure if it's 2D or 3D. Most of the sources are leaning towards a side-scrolling 2D adventure. Could end up being a 3D one, though. There really isn't a lot of details on this other than the fact that it exists and what team is making it. And yes, that team has obviously experience making 3D Mario games. So maybe that's why they took the extra development time. They decided to change the scope of the game. Beats me. Now, we have some other stuff to talk about as well because... There are patents that exist, one recent one suggesting a Nintendogs style AR game for mobile phones. Now, maybe this also works with Switch, that's why we're bringing it up, because it's just a patent for a camera functionality that's using a dog on your phone, but maybe this interacts with your Switch as well. We've seen other patents with VR and AR interacting with a console-like device, so maybe this is just a future possibility, but we got to throw it out there as a possible thing just because that patent exists also mario odyssey 2 we can't forget about the odyssey it's really strange we haven't gotten a real full new mainline mario game since 2017 given the popularity of switch that team hasn't been doing nothing yes they, they technically did a, a little minor port of captain toad and they also managed to do that new mode that new open world style mode bowser's fury uh attaching that to super mario 3d world but if we're completely honest, they probably have had a Mario game in the works this whole time. There was a survey that leaked a couple years ago that mentioned it. It was also the same survey that included Sonic Frontiers, which ended up being true. So that's what kind of gives us some credence. We don't know if Mario Odyssey 2 is really a thing, but we can't ignore it. It is a leak out there, and it leaked seemingly from a pretty official source from a company that Nintendo does use for these types of surveys. Lastly, lastly, this, this is the last one we got. This comes from some hiring posts over at Activision. It does seem that a Call of Duty something could be in the works for Nintendo. Now, we don't know if it's going to be this year or next year, but what we do know is Phil Spencer did publicly promise 10 years of Call of Duty support to Nintendo, but nothing's announced at this time because obviously Phil Spencer can't really back that up unless the Activision Blizzard claim goes through. But if it does, then we should get a new Call of Duty. Uh, but it does look like Activision might already be proactively hiring. They've already hired five former Nintendo employees. Plus, they're still hiring more for this brand new Call of Duty studio. We just talked about this in a recent video. So this is a rather recent thing to toss on the list. But I wanted to make sure I included it for clarity's sake that, hey, probably 2024, we're looking at a new Call of Duty game for Nintendo. Maybe Switch, maybe whatever's next. I know some of you out there might have been hoping that the leak was going to include new hardware and all that. Obviously, we know about the hardware rumors. They've been going super, super, super hard for a while. Uh, I think it's safe to say that the latest reports have new hardware in 2024. Might as well throw that out there. It's not a game leak, but it is a Nintendo leak. So we'll just, hey, it's something. It comes from Nick K. For those wondering, that's the most recent update on it. Ignoring all prior reports, Nick K said Nintendo is looking to hire... Uh, companies right now to mass produce a brand new system to launch in the second half of 2024 so just throwing out there that this is the thing like it's out there it's technically a rumor slash leak so let's, let's 
treat it as such. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this entire list. Uh, what else you think might be coming that isn't on this list? We shouldn't have to wait long for the next Nintendo Direct. It should be right around the corner in February, probably in the middle of February based on prior dates. Maybe the 16th. That's kind of the date I'm thinking. But you guys let me know what you think. And thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in that next video.